We are fighting for a world set free in our time, and our time is now. how you guys are going to handle Social Security? Absolutely, and that's a great question. So we recognize that Social Security is a Ponzi scheme, and we need to protect those who are already on Social Security. Because you can't tell an, a retired 85-year-old with health problems that they need to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and the market will provide. They are where they are because they were sold on a bad Ponzi scheme. And I'm not being hyperbolic when I say Ponzi scheme. If we, if, if we all decided to get together and create the Social Security uh, 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 investment plan or whatever we want to call it, the libertarian investment plan, and that investment plan, we simply copy and paste what Social Security is onto a white paper and say, this is our plan. We would immediately be arrested for racketeering because it is a Ponzi scheme. It is a pyramid scheme. And like all pyramid schemes, it eventually reaches saturation and crumbles. The only thing that has been keeping this one going is that they just rob us more and more and reduce the benefit increases and, uh, and, and raise the, 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 the age of retirement. And it's brutal what they have done with countless trillions of dollars that were stolen from American workers. In Social Security, the average yearly return is somewhere between a half a percent and one percent. During that same time, just in private investments, with all the ups and downs in the market, the average gain has been between five and eight percent. That is almost 10 times better every year. And anyone who understands how compounding interest works is going to suddenly get very upset when they think of what's happened with the money they put into Social Security. We're talking hundreds of times better in the private market. So how do we do that? How do we protect the people who are already on Social Security while allowing everyone else to opt out? Well, Joe has adopted a plan from the Cato Institute, which is called the 6.2% plan. And it's a, it is a complex plan, but simply put, if you're getting Social Security, you will continue to get Social Security with its planned increases. If you already have an amount that is allotted in Social Security that you have, that you have put in, that is protected. Moving forward, anyone who is continuing to pay into Social Security can opt to no longer pay in. They can choose to keep paying in and getting, I don't know why they'd want to, but they can continue to get terrible returns on it if they want to, or they can choose to invest their own money in their own private investments and get literally 10, roughly 10 times the return that they would get in Social Security. And their employer, instead of having to match that, Instead, they take 6.2% of what they would have matched and pay it directly into Social Security. What it does is it allows you to opt out and your employer helps keep it sustainable because you're no longer collecting. So money's going in without you collecting from it. That allows us to protect the people that are on it. And over time, with attrition, as there are fewer people on Social Security and more people opting out, that 6.2% goes down and down and down until eventually we are free from this monster, Social Security. I hope that answers your question.